Hey guys, uh, Tracy here, aka Nana Tazzy, and I've been working on a new junk journal, memory book, glue book, whatever. This one will be a gift for somebody very special who should arrive, uh, let's see, in the next month, I believe, um, she should be born. So, um, I, I apologize, I've, I've already done the center and, and and all of this first but I'll be making a second one of these so if you want to know how I did uh, this part hit me up in the comments so when I do the next one I can film this part and um, I'll add it or link it later um, but this is what I did till oh I don't know 4.30 this morning I don't sleep I'd like to sleep but I don't sleep anywho I was messing around and completely screwed up my, my cover here. Let's see, let me set this aside. But I was, I was cutting out the center of the book and the way the glue, the way they'd done the glue, it had completely got all over the um, inside cover here. So my scissors went right through. But I figured that would be a good time to show you guys. If you bugger this up, it's fine. Unless it's a book that you really, really wanted, you know, that specific cover. We can fix this. This is completely salvageable. So, I figure we'll chat and hang out and I'll show you how I'm going to fix this part and put the book together probably. Um, we might have to do several parts and there'll probably be long chatty videos. I'm not sure. I figure if you want to know, you'll hang out. You can always skip ahead or jump around to the videos. I am just glad that you're here today. So, hi! Alright. Let's get started. Okay. I was using a file folder as a mat. I don't recommend that on account of they're not very big. Okay, I have... Um, it's a plastic tray from, I think we got this at Cash and Carry, we've got two of them. I need to go back and get a bunch more. I've had this one, uh, let's see, about two years now. I've been using it for art for about a year, and it has taken a beating. It's really thick, restaurant quality. But yeah, if, if you can, there are only a few bucks, but if you can, definitely get one of those, because they stand up to anything, and I need to see if they've got one that's a little bit bigger, because um, I like to work with big stuff. I still have yet to figure out why. Oh, that's right, I have to put my knee brace back on today. That's uh, angry. Okay, so what I've done is found a book that I want and before we get started this book is taller than the text block that I made because this is the part I, f I focused on first I usually uh, start with my text block in the size that I want because I can always make a cover or find a book but what I'm hoping to do is once this is all set in there's a gap down the bottom here, which would probably drive a lot of people crazy. But I'm going to put a pen loop um, so that the mom always has a pen with the book and can just jot down, you know, quick notes or, or haha funnies or whatever. That's the whole point. I want to make this as easy as possible. It's hard to find time sometimes uh, when you've got little bitty ones um, as I'm sure many of you know but by the end of the day if you try and sit down and go okay blah 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 you're so tired it's just it's not good and I've got journals I've kept for my kids um, I think we're on the fifth one or sixth one now um, and you know, I, they get put away, I find them six months later or a year later, and then I write in them again. Now my girls are full grown now, and I just found all the journals again. 
what I've come to realize is how important those are as far as seeing personally where you were at, where your head was at, what was going on. Um, it all matters. It's all good. There's, there's so many good memories in there. <coughs> Excuse me, I was playing in the garden earlier. I've got a tickle now. Okay, so if that bugs you, if, if the spacing on that bugs you, see, and this is going to fit, um, I want these, these side pages to be protected, and it's curved right now, so the pages are not all flat. We're going to do our best to make them flat, though, or make them even, well, as even as possible. I'm, um, this book, the way I've done this wrap for the, the inner cover, sewing them in like this means that when the book is open see how these lay flat let's see that'll sit there they lay flat so you can actually work in the book um, and these will lay flat I don't like this and I will probably be covering it with some washi well, I don't know if I've skinny washi, actually. Um, either washi or ribbons. I'll, I'll tie ribbon and, and stuff to cover that, because, yeah, my spacing's off, and, and that part's not real pretty. I was so tired this morning when I put it together, though, I didn't even think about that. But, yeah. See, and we've got, um, this is watercolor paper that I just went crazy on, coffee dyed papers, this is some of the new paper I found, that's, um, I think that's the, the cheapy book, the no name brand watercolor paper, it feels really good once you, you've got it um, stained and coffee dyed though, and you bake it a little bit, um, and how cute are these, oh my gosh, I love scrapbook paper, the mermaid one from the pirate set because I have to make some boy ones of these as well and normally I'm down for unisex I really am but um I've tried to keep these where the moms are, will be happy with it because they're the ones that are going to have to use it the kids you know they're they're newborns they don't care at the moment <laughs> but hopefully years from now it will be a good memory okay so we're going to set that as close to the top as we can without being actually on the top. We're going to put a pen loop here. And that's the reasoning for using this size cover with this. Alright, now I showed you the spine where I buggered it up. Um, and this is real. It mostly stays flat, but I don't... It's not real stable currently. So what we're going to do to help correct that hole or that, that cut and this hole here that, that tore, um, this cover, whoever glued it that day was, uh, they were all about it. But what we want to do is make sure that we, we get this as open as possible. Now I have cut and it's not beautiful for sure. Oh. Okay, I have cut a chunk of cardboard I had laying around, and this is from a milk bone uh, dog biscuits box, because we get the huge boxes. Um, I sanded this a little bit, so um, it will help for glue. I'm going to use for the spine, as I always try and use, um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. This stuff is amazing, but it does need extra dry time compared to, um, say, this one, the Elmer's Extreme. Um, I like using this one for ephemera. But yeah, I, I, I probably would use it on here. I heard a saying that uh, the best glue is the one that you have closest at hand, and there are times that is in fact true, and times that it is not. Since this is a gift, I want to make sure 
I want to make sure it doesn't fall apart because you know if I use something and it has an issue then I can just stick it back together all right but what we're going to do is make a mess oh this stuff is so thick And I want to reiterate, just because you see me doing something a specific way does not mean I know what I'm doing, okay? Um, I am still figuring out how to do this stuff and learning better ways to do this stuff. But I will tell you this, each book I do is way better than the, the previous one. So that's good. That's not perfect as far as uh, just sticking there. Now I'm using this to fill up the hole in the tear and this little side hole here. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. Now you'll notice I haven't decorated or finished this. I'm not worried about that at this time. We're going to cover all of this later. Okay, so if that, you know, freaks you out because you can see naked edges, don't worry about it. It's all good. Let's stick this side down, I think. We're going to use our extra glue. I think my favorite thing about making junk journals, um, well, I love making memory books anyway, but um, if they don't turn out the way you thought they would, it doesn't seem to really matter. Um, you can still use it or morph it into something else. Okay, I'm going to set this very gently, roughly where we want it. I'm going to squish it down. And I'm going to move the covers to make sure that we have clearance. And that looks just fine. Because if it was in the way, it, it would push it over some. Um, let's see, I think for this particular job, we're going to want to weigh that down. Alright, I'm going to cover this just so we don't get glue on absolutely everything. So, but, but wax paper. Um... That should be heavy enough. That covers that edge there, because that's a bit we really want to stick down. As well as there. Okay. Let's see. Alright, while that's drying, I think uh, we'll mess around with some of the ephemera I want to stick in here. Uh, stick in the book when it's done. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Look how cool this is coming out. That's awesome. Okay. Man, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Alright. So, I have very well used... Um, wax paper once again oh, I'm gonna stick that one up there oh let me think. my knee is really playing up today okay so I made um, just as an experiment last night I needed mermaid colored um, well, when they colored anything, I think. Um, and I don't know how well the camera will pick these up. Since I did add shimmery, shiny stuff to it. But I will show you how I did the doilies. And I think I'll be doing this on some uh, plain envelopes. Uh, we're going to turn these into pockets. Okay. And we'll probably, when we stick them on, we'll just stick them on like so and then whichever side we need will be a, a pocket
pocket this way and then a pocket for tags this way. I also kept all the um, trimmings um, all the trimmings from the, the papers I've used in the book well the bigger ones anyway so we can use these um, to decorate our envelopes as well how cute this is like oh my god so and we're going to trim them and, and do whatever but yeah we, we can use that the fun background or whatever I also kept this is the top uh, the papers that I got um, the top of the wait those are trimmed off the top of one set of the papers had the um, the very top of the book so you just cut those off and I have some from the the this set because these, these this is a different set than than um, the pirate set but those ones just tear off so I can use these um, these ones are a little thin the other ones are cardstock but I can use these as um, belly bands or I don't know on, on the edge of your, your papers, you know, when you, you put your doily, I think this is a doily, these will be corner pockets, um, which is why I've got them cut in half, but normally you put, you know, your doily and then, you know, cut this in a decorative fashion, glue just the edge, glue here, stick a button or something, make it all pretty, and then you've got a tuck spot. I don't know, we'll still figure out, I don't know exactly what I want in these books yet, but I have several to make, so I'm going to need a ton of ephemera, or stuff to hold ephemera, I guess. So let's play and experiment, because I really, I jump ahead on that part usually, with the making all this stuff, and I cheated this time, because I have so many to do, and I really want them to be awesome. I finally found some journaling cards, the prefab journaling cards, at um, Tuesday morning for crazy cheap. So um, when I get to that bit, I'll show you all, all the goodies I found there. Let's see, for right now though, let's do this effect, the, the mermaid effect, on, we'll see if it works on the envelopes. Because this paper is really thin, they're really crappy cheap envelopes um, and I didn't get the security one so you can see writing from your letter through there so I really want to use up a bunch of these uh, that's going to be my play one I think and I'm going to only do a few at a time I also got in my Tuesday morning craft haul uh, a couple handfuls of distress stains in colors I haven't played with before so we might do some of them with that as well around the edges or something. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. I need... That's why I have a test one. This will become my front, and I want this to be the back. I'll stick that down, and that will be glued on to a page. Right? Yes. Okay. I'll have to do in, in stages, I'm sure. And this will probably freak out a bunch of you because I'm doing it right on my table. I've got laptop and computer sitting right there, but live dangerously, people. Okay, now I'm hoping, um, I'm not exactly sure what color my inks are currently. I had to add some more alcohol to them today, so they're going to be a little fainter than I'm used to. But these are homemade Sharpie inks, and you just take out the guts of your Sharpie, um, slice it all up. Um, you're supposed to take them out, you soak it all, whatever, for a couple hours in a cup, and then pour your, your ink in here, whatever. I didn't do that. I checked the tip of the, um, the Sharpie, pulled the tip out with pliers, chucked it in here as well. And I should probably dig all that out now, but, um, well, I haven't. Okay, we're going to do several of these, so we'll probably do, wait, 
um, yeah, we'll probably do four with similar colors. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm making my dark. Let's start light, I think. And I don't know the names. Oh yeah, that's way light now. It's crazy. Well, cool. Okay, if you're going to use alcohol inks, by the way, do it in a well-ventilated area. This stinks up the entire room. <clears throat> and if you have breathing issues especially, definitely put on like a fan or something. Ooh, so pretty. And if you're worried about overspray, um, what did I do with that file folder? Grab a chunk of file folder or an art journal page or something. And that way you can get right up to your edge. Now, since I don't know which direction I want these to actually work in yet, that'll depend on how they look. Yep, since I thinned it out, I need way more to get the color I want. Oh, look, that's going to do the, um, the pattern of the where the fold is on the back. <coughs> Good lord, those are stinky. <coughs> okay, so yeah, we're going to have to do this and then I'll go outside for a bit. back of the envelope on there. I didn't really think about that. Of course, again, these are really thin envelopes, so, you know. These don't always dry. Actually, most of the time, they don't dry anywhere near as cool as they look when they're wet. So, do not be discouraged if it looks amazing wet, and then it's like, eh, when it's dry. Okay. find a lot of them just really morph. And being um, that these are alcohol, um, the how it's the alcohol in it that, that pushes everything around. See? And if you wanted to, you could, uh, you know, if I did this on, on a board or something, you could, or actually I could probably do this. You can get them to run and drip and um, make cool patterns. You could pull out the heat gun or hairdryer or whatever and, and blow it around and get it to sit where you want. But this is so thin. See what it's done to the back already? It's already soaking through. Which is fine. Okay, so we've got some drippage and running. Okay, I'll see if this one will spray today. It's, it's gotten weird in a sprayer. It's more of a stream than a spray, but I actually quite like to use it. If we can get our stuff close enough together here. Um, see, it does this. Makes this cool effect now. Okay. Oh, we might need that one. Throw some pink at this too. Because mermaids, all the colors. <laughs> and there's no plan, there's no actual design, just chuck it on there. Because it's going to change as it dries anyway. So every time is an experiment, and it's fun, and it's a great no stress project I guess because yeah it just it's gonna do its own thing and you're gonna have to wait and see <clears throat> okay I'm gonna leave those where they are for the moment I think I oh, know I really need more blue in that I need 
it's too bad I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy more sharpies, I think, because here yeah, once you get down to that last little bit, um, thinning them out gives you all right colors, but they're not near as strong as the uh, as the original. Okay, now I've stunk up the room completely, so I'm going to let these dry, and we'll come back, and then I'll show you how I get the. Um, the shimmery part. Oh, I like that one. Though. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I wonder, actually. No, let's do some purple. Let's do some purple. And what I'm doing here is not quite a full pump on the spray. Just get it down to little ones and it just spits everywhere. Mm, see if can. There we go. Okay, we want to break up the, the purple bits a little bit, so let's flick some more blue into those bits. Then I need to go outside and get some fresh air. Um, what you can also do um, is take a spray bottle with water in it and spritz it a little bit and it will move that around as well. Um, but this is doing th that same effect on its own um, at the moment, so I'm just going to leave that. It's like the, the dirty pour flip cup things where they try and get the cells and stuff. This will do the same, well, I can't say the same thing, a similar thing, um, just where the alcohol has, has pushed all the colors around. Um, so you still get what appears to be cells through the colors. Which is cool. See this one, I don't like that. Let's do. Oh, the way it's going, I'm going to be high by the time we're done here. That is something else and will not help my migraine. Hooray! Oh, yeah. Okay, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I have no idea when to walk away. When to just stop and leave it most of the time. So I'm going to be brave today and leave it here. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, need more coffee anyway. Alright, I'll be back. Hey guys. Okay, let's see. This has a couple puddles in the lower spots and is still damp to the touch, but... I feel safe enough to um, hit it up with some tattered, these are the Tattered Angels, um, either Glimmer Mists or Shimmer Sprays or something, I can't remember. I got them at Tuesday morning, oh, almost a year ago, and I've been afraid to um, use them a whole lot because, you know, I can't just go out and replace them when they're gone. So. I haven't used them until recently, um, and yeah, as you can see, I love them, and I'm going to have to get more anyway, but we want mermaidy colors, so, uh, let's see, let's shake them up, because the, the mic, what is it, mica powder, mica flakes, whatever they use for the shimmer, it's really ultra fine, it sits on the bottom. Um, I did read somewhere that you're supposed to store any of the spray bottles sideways, but I don't. It takes up too much space that way, and I don't have I don't have very good storage yet. 
Okay, let's see. Let's do a light blue. And I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see, but I will do up close when it's, um, oh my god, that's delicious. I do, I love these things, love them, love them. Let's uh, set those over there. That's blue, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of the purple, make sure all the uh, flakes are mixed in. You probably can't see that on the camera, but it does this swirly, um, looks almost like a galaxy swirl. Um, now I do have to remember some of this is going to be on the inside, sadly, and we will have to flip these over once they're dry and do a little bit um, for the part that, that we fold over, so we'll have to figure that out. Okay, I'm going to hit it also with some of the dark blue, which I'm almost completely out of. No! Oh, I'm going to clean that out. Yes, I am. Oh, crap. Actually, I wonder if you can flick these. Let's see. I'm more about experimenting. Oh, my gosh. Let's see how these dry. Oh, they have such tiny little uh, uh, straws, which makes sense for anything that's, you know, got a 3D particle in it. Oh, I like that, yes. I don't know how much more shimmery we need. Let's see, I've used those ones. And I have two in a white. One's far more pearl than the other one. Let's do this one. It's the extra pearl one. Oh, it's delicious. And I don't know if you can see from there what it's doing. It's tiny, tiny, tiny shimmers. Okay. Alright, so we're going to let these dry completely and then we'll come back and flip them over and... Actually, what I might do is play with the distress stain on the, the flip side. Um, which I will have to test the colors on because these are I just grabbed one of each that they had. Um, let's see, Wilted Violet, we'll try that. Blueprint Sketch, we'll try that one. What's that one? Picked Raspberry. Doesn't that sound amazing? I love the way that they uh, name all their stuff. It looks like Clover. I don't know if that's going to be too green or not. And Sponge Sugar, we'll try. Let's see. Let's see one. Milled lavender. That that might give us a lighter purple than the other. And I got old paper, um, which I'm not going to use for these. But I can't wait to um, get into that. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to take my um, chunk of file folder. Well, these are mostly drying. And I'm going to take my test envelope and let's see what this does. A couple swipes of the spun sugar. Picked raspberry. Oh my! I don't know if you guys can see because I've moved now. Okay, so spun sugar, picked raspberry. Keep these in some kind of order. Wilted violet. Let's see then. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be using those two together for everything. Look. Oh. This is sponge sugar. Wait, wait, let's do left to right. Sponge sugar. Picked raspberry. Wilted violet. I also want to try the milled lavender. Hmm. 
Oh wow, that's Oh, that's terribly. Let's see. I don't know if I like that or not. Not for this project anyway. Um, hmm. I will see, I guess. Okay. I also want to see the blueprint sketch. Wow, that like totally comes out of there way too fast. Good to know. And Lucky Clover. Oh, I like that as well. Alright, so we have Spun Sugar, Picked Raspberry, Wilted Violet, uh, Milled, Milled Lavender. This one is the Blueprint Sketch, and this one is the Lucky Clover. And if we wind that up, we should be able to use the Distress Stains. Um, for doing edges and that kind of thing and still have everything mostly color coordinated. What I do want to see, since we're experimenting, is if I spritz this with water, I want to see what the, the blue does since it's very happy. Can I see what... Uh, Oh, it doesn't really um, thin it out too bad, but I want to see what it does on here. I do a lot of artwork with um, the pages I, I drip on. I'm trying to get this thing going here. And you're probably horrified that I am doing this over a current project. <laughs> but you know, that's how I roll. Okay. Yeah, very damp. Especially this one. It cracks me up how these puff up. It, it looks like puff pastry. So that's funny. But we are getting... Um, with the, the mix of all the, the different color uh, shimmer sprays, it does its own... Um, it, it sits in the, the, the whatever fluid they use for this. Um, it almost looks like scales um, when you get it on the, the mermaid y looking background colors. So I like that. And I believe that will work. Let's see. These are, are muted because I had to uh, add more alcohol. So they should still um, work based on the colors that we used. But these are far more vibrant. Um, oh, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Of course, you never can tell till you get the books, you know, start putting them together, which is honestly my favorite part. This stuff's fun and everything, but once you get all this done and you sit down and you put it all in the book, that part makes me happy. That's, that's just a good day. Okay, so let's see. Look at that though. Right, that's probably too shimmery to really see, but it's got a wave of other colors and it's just all pushed itself around. Looks like something you'd look at under a microscope, but with shimmer. <laughs> okay, so we've got some corner doily pocket things, and these will be foldered. Uh, foldered. Wow! I'm tired. Okay, so these will be folded into tag pockets and ephemera holders and we'll stick them on so that they're side pockets as well. And I am shiny! Yay, fairy dust! <laughs> um, I won't pull those out yet. We'll go through, um, I'll just flip through some of the, the tags and stuff that I have. Oh, also! Um, The paper pack that I'm collecting, this is all stuff that I want to add to these books. Um, I've got a set for the, boy, the girl stuff and a set for the boy books I'm going to make. And yet, yeah, usually I like unisex stuff, but um, for each of the particular children involved, I've got five I'm going to make books for. Wait. Yeah, I've got the three grandbabies and then um, the two 
new babies um, that friends of ours are having. Or one's here already. He uh, came earlier than I thought he would. So I haven't done all of their stuff, but we're going to make five books in different styles. Um, at least three, three different styles. I know that people get um, really love the the flipping. Uh, the flip throughs and stuff um, and I heard that lots of people aren't getting to making their own journals or are still afraid to try or any of that so I figure what we're going to do is make some you know from scratch I'll do a couple in um, these, the composition notebooks, these were 88 cents at Walmart and we're going to modify these to make keepsake journals as well or junk journals or glue books or whatever you want to call them um, and then we're going to modify or alter actual book books so I can show you different ways of, of how to do that and I've done the composition notebooks before but um, I've kept them mostly as notebooks, you know, so that I can use mine um, for note taking and, and whatever. But we're going to completely modify one as we would make these books. Also, the altered um, actual books to alter, we're going to, um, I'm going to do one of those because I've seen it done. But I haven't done a complete book like that. I started one. I didn't like the way it was going. Um, uh, it was almost a year ago. But I've learned a lot of different things since then. So I'm going to give it another go. And probably take you guys on that journey with me. And you'll probably cringe and go, No, don't do it like that. But this is how I learn. I just sit down and I throw everything at stuff or go, oh, what if, or does this work, or I wonder what that looks like. And yeah, a lot of times it doesn't work. A lot of times it does. Uh, it's all about experimenting and trying new stuff or taking the stuff you know and tweaking it to see if it works a different way. And that's the fun, I think. Okay, I really want to play with these. Okay, I'm going to go so I'm not like right here. Um, I don't really want to move these yet either. And the backs, see how it, the alcohol um, sharpie inks just soak through, which I do this for um, stationery as well, um, just on notebook paper. And depending on how strong your your um, colors are, like this one would probably be fine now. You could probably still see the lines, but. Um, alcohol eats through some of the, the printed lines on the notebook paper. Okay, I'm going to go and find something to do so I don't mess with this and then when I come back we will, um, I shall probably flip them and do this again but fast forward through that part and we'll see. And then yeah, we'll, we'll clear this part and see where we're at with the next bit. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see. Don't know if the blue leaked through because I wet it or not. What I might do is. Let's see. Oh, I just let a fly in the house. Dang it. I hate flies so much. Okay, these are still damp, but I don't care. Okay, I'm trying to cool through this one. No, that's definitely got to be the top. Alright, so we'll take our test piece, which is also still wet. Well, very wet where I sprayed it, and just damp. So I want at least from here. Here, let's see, picked up my screen. Very much. And for 
remember I'm going to put, um, we're most likely going to put um, um, a chunk of something else on there, of um, matching and coordinating paper. Okay, so we're going to do that one, start with the middle here, going to do about yay much there. And sugar. And yeah, that's really light. So I think what I'm going to do is my favourite technique here is to make these things. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Sure, why not? Because they're too much fun. Okay. I'm going to do. Oh, let's see. About even with that one. So probably get my arm in the way. Apologize for that. And do it under there just in case it doesn't want to line up later since we've got it all wet here. probably be making a whole bunch more but I'll end up having a tougher time picking which one to stick in books later so if I just work on a few I wonder if that'll work Okay, we're going to let that dry. Actually, we're not, we're not going to let that dry. Let's try this one. Yeah, this is way more white, but still shimmery. So, ah, oh. there we go. going to let that dry. Okay, so um, I set aside the envelopes because they're still really, really wet. Um, see where we're at here. Eh, looks like our glue is still very wet. It's just not very warm today. It's sunny. It's warmer than yesterday. Raining yesterday. But yeah, it's still takes some time for stuff to dry. So, I don't think I'm gonna, no, I think I'll let that dry more. Let's see, we could probably play with it now, but I'd rather not, um, just because it will take so long for all the layers to dry, because we have to do cover, well, we'll, we'll cover inside and outside spine, and um, outside cover, inside cover, and then probably take the spine again. Most likely. I'm not sure yet um, what I want to do for the cover. I have some epic fabric. I might stitch a cool lacy cover for it, but I don't know yet. And there goes my phone. Um, Alright, so what we'll do is we'll we'll do this, put it back where it was sitting, and just leave it so that might be tonight or tomorrow we'll get back to this part let's see oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh, let's dig through that. I will show you. I will go through some of the stuff that um, I collected between Tuesday morning and Walmart because without both of those stores I don't think I'd be able to afford any of this stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll do that. Okay, so Tuesday morning I found these. Actually, let's just open them because I wanted to play with them anyway. I love getting new stuff. Whether it's Happy Mail. Oh, I guess I should, could have shown you the back here. These are made by Julie Bean Soup. And they're freaking adorable little baby file cards. I mean, they're blank on the back. What I might do is stick these onto some of our coordinating papers as well, so everything kind of ties together. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. It says blessed, happy days, notes, um, what's that would say? Smile. Um, love this, true story. Blessed, fun, sweet. It's blank. Remember today, us, family, life, favorite. See, and these would make great, um, you could use those as tabs on the top of the page as well, like little turn page tabs. But yeah, I don't know if we want to use them as flip ups or just little in journal pockets or what, but file cuts, miniature file cuts, cost a buck for 18 of them, because Tuesday morning is amazing. I have to experiment with these, I have found graphic 45 cling stamps, and I don't know if this set is actually cold, but it's um, like Bedtime Story, Jack and Jill, Humpty Dumpty, Twinkle Twinkle, and I don't actually have any ink. I still haven't um, bought a re-inker for my ink pad or gotten any more ink pads, but I couldn't pass up this for three bucks. I mean, it's supposed to be ten bucks, like seriously, and I probably should have got, they had um, several different sets, I probably should have got the others, but I don't know. I need to experiment and see if I can like put down distress stain on um, an acrylic block or something and use it as ink. In my brain that would work. It seems like it would work. But yeah, I don't know for sure. If it does, we're, we're set. We're golden. Um, let's see. I got these. Uh, albums Made Easy. This one's by We Are Memory Keepers. As is, well, these three sets are. But these are like um, uh, project life, document your life um, type stuff. Well, this one's a blank. Okay, cool. But they're tags and things. Oh, they're double sided. I love that. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Happy life. Live every moment. Am I doing it backwards? No, they're just. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, we can use these as, um, I guess there's albums that have different size pockets you slip all these into, but I haven't bought any or tried those. Um, oh, these are adorable. But yeah, we're going to use some of these in our books. And I, I do love that they're double sided, that's awesome. I was worried about um, colors because these are colors that one might work. Um, I haven't really got many of these colors in the, the book that I'm making currently, but honestly I don't think it's going to matter because we are doing more of a junk journal style. These ones should. Let's see what's in this one. Daisy. That one. Oh, I see that one's called Lemon. 
This one's Daisy. There might be more in here that'll work. Let's see, double-sided journaling cards. I didn't even like read them. I, I just grabbed them. Oh, and these are the big ones. Sweet. And I've seen where you can take one of one of the big ones, and then you take a, a little one and washi it. So you've got to flip out on your your flip up piece. I don't know if that'll be too much or not. I think it's awesome, and I think we'll probably try some just to see how we like it. Because um, after doing the Happy Mail journal that I did, I very quickly became addicted to how those look and all the interactive. And they are tons and tons of fun. Happiness is... Well, these are cute. Man, I could use up my planner. Well, whatever doesn't go in books will go in my planner which is a giant mess, and I only use it randomly anyway. Oh, that's cool too. Yes. Love that. Okay, and then the big one. Which I don't know. See, that was supposed to be two dollars. That would have been a, a deal, I think, anyway. Let's see, there's 18 four by six inch cards. Nice. Oh my gosh, how cool are these? Heck yeah. Oh, and one of the, in this kit, lots of the stuff matches with this, this particular one. I don't know what this one's called. Yeah, that's part of the album's main easy as well. Yeah, they all go together. Sweet. Okay, what did we get to here? There. I love this. That's great. Love this. Oh my gosh. Sweet. See, now I don't want to, I don't know if we want to, um, oh, that knee is keen. Okay, I don't know if I want to um, leave this for, so the mom can, can add, you know, photos to these. Or if we want to embellish them as flip outs and, and whatever. There's so many different ways. Everything I look at, you know, on YouTube or on, uh, yeah, YouTube and Pinterest, which I'm trying to avoid currently because I, I end up so wanting to try everything. And I'd rather spend time making than looking at made stuff, you know. How cute are these though? Favorites. Oh my gosh. Alert the media. That's hilarious. See, and these are great. And you could stitch these. Um, you could actually cut that probably so it made its own pocket, though that would bugger up the back. It's on the back of that one. But yeah, whatever. Um, and I don't know if I want to use these. Well, it'd be a waste to use them as tuck spots, I think. And they're a bit big. No, I think these will mostly be flip outs or flip ups. So you could take several together so that they do that. Yeah, I guess they sell the, the little albums with different size pocket setups and whatever, and you just slip them all in and out as you need to. I might get that far eventually, but um, currently I love making these bits. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, chipboard stickers. I have not played with these before, so hopefully the stickers are good. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Belly button. Um... I might, just in case, um, use a little glue as well, just in case, or we could use um, the foam double sided tape and make them three dimensional for sure, like really pop up, I don't know, we'll play when we get to that one. This is the Albums Made Easy, there's 100 double sided journaling cards in this. 
for $2.99. Can you believe that? How cool is that? And it's got, um, you know, all the journal cards in this size. And this is a birthday one. A hip hip hooray it's called, but it's a birthday one, which I thought was great for a newborn baby book. And because there's multiples, I can spread these out throughout all the books that I want to make anyway. So, there's those. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys, that's great. Oh, I hate not having fingernails. Well, yes and no. There's little bitty calendars, how cute is that? Best day ever. Every day is the best day ever. Because even if you bugger something up, there was something to learn. Take note. Okay. Picture perfect moment. Oh, those are cute. Celebrate good times. My party. Oh, those are cute. Oh, I might have to repurpose those for something else. Yes. Let's stick those in the back, I think. It's party time. Celebrate. Oh, that was fun, that one. Celebrate is like that on the back. Which makes me think of Christmas. Huh. Birthday favorites. This is cute. I might give one of these to... Um, I, I have the, the girls write out what they want for their birthday still. Doesn't mean they'll get anything on that list, but um, as they get older, I prefer to get them stuff that they'll actually need, want, or will use for sure. Which is easy, they both love books. Uh, Life of the Party. Okay. Wishes. I love all these wish lists. These are great. They'd be great for goals as well. Oh, and the Happy Birthday song. That's cute. Blow out the candles. That's cute. And Birthday Memories. One year older and wiser too. Truth. Okay, let's um, pop these out and put these ones in the back because I might use these as the tags for the gifts. That sounds awesome. For the when, when I get these as gifts. That sounds awesome. Okay, so that's those and I'm totally excited. I don't know if I want to embellish them. Oh. I need a nap, you guys. Like, insomnia is the pit. Oh my gosh, there's pockets. Oh! Oh, I need to find somewhere to buy pockets and bags in bulk. Or maybe one day I'll, I'll break down and get a die cutting machine. I really want one so I can make pockets. Okay, so we've got four pockets. Those are great. Okay, we're going to have to decorate those because, well, why not? Well, these have cutouts, look. Family. And these have an up or down. And technically, these are uh, double-sided as well. Oh, well, how cute is that? You can put it straight over a picture. <laughs> nice. We have options there. And... Cutouts. Oh, that one's supposed to be. In my brain, it's an ampersand. Oh, it might be. Hmm. Oh, the family ones. I have a lot of. Okay, those are all the same color. These would make epic stencils. I might have to set some aside for stencils. Yes. So those are fun. These would make cute peekaboo. Um, I'll stick a picture behind and make it a thing. Hmm. We might have to give that a go. Every book that I make thus far is an experiment as to what works, what doesn't work, what I like, what I don't like. Um, and just trying out new stuff. Okay, so that's the, who is it? 
We are memory keepers. Albums made easy in the hip hip hooray. I completely destroyed his thoughts. Okay, so that's that stuff. I also found, let's see, that's a pad of sticky notes from Walmart, and this was a set which I got for uh, because of the, the barn. I had no idea what else the other two pads were, but it was a three pack. So it's got the little farm yard barn, it's got a chicken and a mason jar, which is cool because somewhere um, I do believe I still have firefly stickers. So that will be fun. I also picked up a bunch of these. I believe they're 88 cents a piece at Walmart. Um, they're just little notebooks that look like oh, this. Which actually, these are probably great to chuck in your purse or something. I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to dismantle these and... Actually, I may just cut it there. No, we'll probably dismantle the books and um, I'll just stick these in as journaling cards. But what I want to do is stick them to something more stout. Some cardstock or some variety. But they're, they've got the same setup with this color the cover color around the edge. So I figured those might come in handy as well. Uh, flip outs or to put in pockets, that kind of thing. So that's those. In this bag, I am collecting all the things. The paper pack that I got has a bunch of uh, several pages with um, just matching image stuff, um, little sayings, and uh, just cute little pictures and things. Um, so I'll have to go through those and see what I want to use. Enjoy the simple things, just little stuff that, that matches the paper, which is cool. Um, this is from the cover, and I don't remember what set that is. We'll have to trim some of these a little better. Um, we did it in a hurry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's a chunk from the cover as well. Okay, let's separate these. Okay, so that's the little stuff from the paper pack. And it is everywhere, which is why I put it in, in that there. Um, this is offcuts. Is that offcuts? Yeah, they're offcuts. No, it's not. No, these were um, pa uh, one of the pages. It's got borders and stuff. Um, or you could use it as a page, I guess. It is cardstock, so I wanted to use it possibly as borders or um, belly bands, that kind of thing. And yeah, there's just there was a ton of extra stuff. They had I think it was three or four pages of cutouts in all different sizes. Um, so we're going to spread these out amongst several books. And yeah, they're plain on the back, so we're going to have to have a lot of work to do for all the fiddly, fiddly pieces. And you could leave it plain, I guess, or copy dye them maybe, but... Little bitty borders. Um, you could use these as title pages or, or um, title cards. You glue this in and just use it as a, a tip-in. Or, um, it's actually called tip-ins. Yeah, I like to use stuff like this on the, the corners. Um, just glue here and um, just use it as a holder pocket. Okay. You want my sunshine. Smile often and laugh always. So there's a chunk of those. I also have... Oh, wait. These 
came from the big paper pack, the pirate pack, and they had um, papers more for boys and then the more for girly colors, if you will. But they also had stuff you can cut out and use. Um, they've got the big ones, which I'll probably use as, as corners and tuck spots and stuff. Um, these I don't know if I'm going to keep big or cut down, you know, cut this part out, but I didn't want to decide right off the bat. Let's see what our, our book is looking like. They've got these, again, um, these would make great pockets. This is where you, you tear it out of the book, but um, I'm going to trim that, I think. Um, but yeah, they'd make belly bands or stuffed pockets or... Um, title, you can put titles or, or footer notes and sayings. Um, you could put something on the back probably and um, use it as, as flip ups or fold downs. These ones I'm not sure if I want to leave again um, this edge on or cut out this part um, and fold it and use it over. Uh, either as a belly band or over doilies on the edges to help hold stuff in. Because um, I really do love those. But I'm not sure. Again, we're winging it. Each book is very different um, as to layout and stuff. And I'm going to be sorry about doing this, I think. Actually, what I'm going to do... Yeah, that should be fine. But it had pages and pages and pages <laughs> of tags. Wish upon a starfish. How cute is that? May all your fishes come true. Um, the plain ones in here. And I have plenty to spread out between all the books. Make a splash. Time to celebrate. Hug, sand, kiss it. And again, these are plain on the back. I'm going to stick them on matching papers. Um, my favorite thing about this set, though, was they gave you a bunch of... Um, and these need more trimming, but... Um, my hands shake. Uh, today's not terrible. So... Um, I have to pick when I cut and if I need to go back and trim stuff, then I usually do. Uh, let's see, banners, that's what they're called. The little banner um, pennant style banners, I think they're called. Little triangle ones. But these have all sorts of stuff. And somewhere in here it spells out party. But you get the idea, right? So we've got tags, and I think I have twine somewhere I can make that so it looks like it's hanging or whatever. Oh, I'm going to have to dig through all the stuff. <laughs> but that's those. And again, I want, I want a birthday theme because it is um, two of the books. Uh, one for boy, one for girl, uh, for newborns. So, I want a very happy birthday, you know, the day you were born vibe. But I didn't want... I wanted cool, fun, more than just baby, newborn-y... Um, I don't know what you'd call that. So... As kids get older and they've got all the school projects where it's like, you know, find out who named you, what does your name mean, um, share a baby photo or a story about when you're a baby, that kind of stuff. That's why I make these books, so it's easy to keep track of that stuff, and then when they have that project at school, you can dig it all out and go, oh, we have tons of stuff, pick one. And... I found stickers. Now before I came across all the mermaid pirate themed stuff, I had grabbed just anything I could find girly-ish. So we've got butterflies, naturally, because I love butterflies. I had found dragonflies, but 
I didn't like the look of them. They weren't quite what I was looking for. I did include some newborn baby baby stuff. Um, and these are three-dimensional owls, and oh my god, they're cute. They did remind me of Tamara Laporte's Quirky Birds, and I might have to doodle on them just to quirky them up some more. But I love the different size eyes and, and, and stuff. These, I didn't realize when I got them, because um, I just saw owls, and they're cute, and they've got little winky ones, and sleeping owls, and yeah, they're adorable. But I was playing with them, because I saw pop-up stickers written on there. And yeah, these only have this much sticky on them. So they do this. Now, I took a sheet out, because there's 50 stickers in here apparently. But I took a sheet out just to play with these before I put them in a pretty book and went nuts in my uh, Happy Mail. Look at this. Look, they're, I used them as toppers, but you can... Uh, Let's do this one. Well, not that one, probably. Let's see. Maybe that one? No, that I stuck it way far down. Okay. One of these. Like these. If you wanted to, you fold them here, because it's only the base of it that's sticky. And you can get them to uh, stand up while you're working on your page. So, you have friends while you're writing, or whatever, I guess. But I thought they were a lot of fun. And yeah, I didn't realize they, they were pop-up. I just saw owl stickers. I was in a rush. I went, yep, yeah, those will work. And they do. I love them. How cool is that? I've played with this idea with other stuff. Um, I did a three-dimensional fence out of a regular fence sticker once. But I had to... Oh, I had to cover the, the half of the sticky at the back so it wouldn't stick. And it did pop up out of the card. And yeah, it was a pain in the butt. So thankfully somebody has addressed that issue and you can buy those. Okay, I think that's all I've got for that stuff currently. Yeah. So for now, um, we're going to chuck all this back in here, hopefully. Oh, so many pieces. And it's so, so easy to go overboard. Um, but at the same time, this will go a really, really long way. Um, so yeah, this this will end up a stash. Because um, I've got two, two girl books to make and three boy books to make. So, um, and I've got a similar set for the boy stuff, but um, I don't want to mix it up with all the, the current book that we're working on, because it took forever to separate it already. Um, some of this stuff, uh, if I include them in here, will appear in both books. Maybe the owl, I don't know. Although we might give her eyelashes and turn it into a girl. I don't know. Um, and usually with the the sticky notes, I usually just pull off however many um, and then include it in the cover so that whoever needs sticky notes while they're going through the book, they can just peel one off, write what they need, stick it in or wash it in or whatever, um, which I might do with some of these as well. So we'll make them a dashboard, most likely. Okay, so that's what I have so far of the ready to go, the mostly ready to go bits and bobs, I'm leaning towards the double sided stuff already because, well it's a lot less messing around isn't it? And how much fun is that? I'm so excited to put it together but we still have to build it so I'm going to leave it here for now and I don't think there's a lot I can do overly just yet, unless we start doing um, the backing on these pieces. I don't know. Oh, there's so many options and so many different ways to do things. Half the time I, I spend more time thinking about it than I do. You know, once I get started I can just knock it out, but... 
figuring out the way I want to get stuff done or what will be the best fit for what I'm trying to do um, seems to take much longer than actually the doing. No, I think I will chew on that. I need to go and feed the fish and check on the turtle and probably find some coffee while the cover dries. I think that's the next part I really want to work on because I can decide once the book's together I get a, a better feel for what I'm going to need for it um, as far as these go. So yeah, we'll do that while that's still drying. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. <laughs>